All right, today I'm going to show you how to reinstall hinge springs when you don't have the correct tool. Uh, I think all of us have had to replace these uh, door bushings at some point. I know this door needs to have it done. And uh, when you get it all apart, it's a pain in the butt to put that spring back in there without the correct tool. I'm going to show you a nice little trick of how to get that sucker in there without having to go and go buy that tool. Because not all of us do this for a living and need to have that tool all the time. This is what I used to do it. You have your door spring, a few zip ties, anything to compress a spring, C-clamp, uh, uh, workbench vise, doesn't matter. But uh, let me show you how to do this. All right, so you have your spring. Take your zip ties. Don't put it through the very end coil, because otherwise you won't be able to get the zip tie back out. All right, running through a few of these, down through. Obviously, you want to evenly space them out. Okay. You're gonna have something that looks like this. Okay, you're gonna put this in your C clamp. And you wanna be careful to make sure you have the spring centered in this, otherwise it'll push out one side or the other. And as you go. Tighten these down so they can't re-expand. That's why you have the zip ties. A lot easier to do when I'm not trying to keep it on camera. All right, what you then end up is this. Snip your little ends off. Just that way it's easier to okay. end up with this. Take your pair of uh, diagonals, come over here to your door. Stick this sucker up in here where it belongs. All right, just like so. All right, and you're gonna come up here. And I snip your lines. Not as easy to do one handed. One. Make sure everything's still where it's supposed to be.
and you just want to make sure you fish all these out. Not that it really matters, but and there you have it. Got to loop up that hinge, but yeah. That's how you install a hinge spring.